Was you very, was you, was, was you deeply, profoundly disappointed in you when you, when you didn't make that team? Is the Detroit Lions a tiger? I was, I was disappointed to tears. Let me course, tell you, I'm going to tell you why you said, you know why you didn't make it one thing? <laughs> Remember you used to ask us to pray for you? That's one time I didn't break for you. <laughs> I won't tell you why, because I didn't want them to break you up. Uh, and the only thing I could see and visualize, my boy on the stretch of the first time somebody hits you, carrying you out. Remember you told me when you trained with them somewhat, they found they hit out the well, they naturally be easy on you, but well, wait till those opponents come in there. You know what I'm saying? No, I can tell you. Yeah, <laughs> I did good. I went through a month at uh, Eastern Michigan, and they had a pretty, pretty tough bunch of guys up there, and uh, we hit every day. They yeah. really did. They hit you. You didn't feel they lighting up on you. Well, they, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't get hurt. You know, I had just a normal bump. But you didn't get hurt, you know. But I feel like football is a strange sport. I can play football. I don't. If I can get in shape, with maybe I'm probably too old now. But if I were not too old to play, I have the mentality to play football. I know I do because, you know, whatever, whatever deficiencies you may have as an athlete on a football field, if you use your brains along with your ability, you can generally negate. Uh, you know, like if a guy's stronger than you, if you're a little quicker, then you can negate his strength somewhat. And, it goes like that, so, you know, I have the mentality to really play the game. That's why I never really got hurt, you know. But I, I could have played. i never forget the day when you left home, when you got in that station wagon with Mr. Harvard's people, and you, you bumped your knee on the door, looking up to tell me goodbye. Yeah. And I went to you goodbye, and that's the, when you left home, and things began to move there. And you went through a period of, I guess, a little hardship, which is, mm -hmm. which is a part of a person's bring them up and, and a part of their, you know, build them up. Mm -hmm. And finally, when you first put out your first record, seemed to me, I was surprised along the way. I said, here's a dream come true. I had a lot of dreams about you, and I saw it didn't. And then after a year, he's doing the very thing that you told me he would do with that form of training. I'll never forget that picture, you getting in that car. You, you, you'll be surprised the feeling the parents have when they see these children leaving, going out in the world, not knowing. And then those days, you know, July delinquency was prevalent all over the nation. And we only thing we can get this feeling, oh, I hope you don't know to do it, go anywhere and get into trouble. So we, we had to live with that. And by you not getting into trouble, that was a great burden off from your mother and our minds and our hearts. And I'm going to give to you now because these cameras and for these people, I think you want for myself. As long as I know you have a humble mind and as long as you know there's a guard upstairs, you can call on him and respect the people. I thank you a real wonderful person. I almost, I'm going to give that to you. He's my son. And I'm proud of you. I really am.